Welcome back to Dave's podcast. I recently wrote a parable called No Jacket Required, which was prompted by a scene in the movie Blue Like Jazz, which I uh, did a podcast about recently. The parable was inspired because at the end of that movie, there's a scene which really struck me. In the movie, a character called Don Miller goes to a very progressive, very secular college and he's on the run from his Christian faith. He's trying to get away, he wants to experiment, he wants to experience life. But at the end of that film, he confronts a guy who's been a good friend to him, but a guy who's been very antagonistic towards faith and God. And the way that Don kind of confronts him is to be a lot more honest about who he is and what he thinks and what he believes. And if you like, he takes off his jacket He removes the duffel coat or the caggle or the trench coat, however you want to see it. But he actually shows a little bit more of himself. He steps out of the closet. And it's quite interesting the way that that makes the other guy soften up. doesn't always work like that. But sometimes when one person takes a risk, it softens up the other people, the other person that they're with. And I guess we all wear these jackets, don't we? We all sort of walk around with these kind of invisible duffel coats and caggles and fur coats or wind sheeters or whatever on because we probably feel we're not quite adequate you know we don't really fit in we're not quite up to the mark we're a little bit different we're maybe not funny enough or strong enough or good enough or wise enough or good looking enough in our celebrity culture all these kind of things and so we find things to put on to present ourselves, to put on a little presentation for others when we're with them. And we all do it, everyone does it. And I think you can trace that back to the beginning of the book of Genesis in the Bible, the story of Adam and Eve. Because whatever you think about that story, I think one thing that's absolutely bang on about it is that when Adam and Eve's lives fall apart, the first thing they start to do is cover up. They suddenly feel they're not good enough. They suddenly feel a shame about themselves. They feel an inadequacy. Before this, they've had no problems. They felt at ease with themselves and with each other. There's been no peer pressure. There's been no expectations put on them by others at all. They've been absolutely what we might call at ease in their own skin, literally their own skin, because they didn't bother with clothes. But suddenly they feel the need to add more. They're not at ease in their own skin. They are not enough because their lives have fallen apart and they must start to somehow project a different image. What's interesting about that story is that it's God who makes them clothes. And to do that, he makes the very first sacrifice. The clothes he makes come from an animal. And in a sense, it's like that sacrifice is the first one that is made to help people. And we can then jump ahead thousands of years to the sacrifice of Jesus, which becomes the ultimate sacrifice for the ultimate help for people. Jesus spoke about the way things that are hidden will one day be brought out into the open, brought out into the light. And I don't think that was a kind of just a sort of, oh, everyone's got their dark side and one day there'll be a light shined on it and it'll be exposed for everyone to see. Because we all have that dark side. We all have stuff in the closet, really. We all have the the part of us that we don't feel is good enough to show to others or acceptable. A few years ago, I was in a meeting and I heard a guy pray and use this line. He said something like, Lord, you know, we're all a bit mad. And I never forgot that. And I found it very liberating because I think that is true, really. We are all a bit mad. And yet God already knows that. And one of the great things is, is that we don't have to cover up with him. And Jesus spoke about a time when one day it'll all be out in the open. And I think he meant the good things as well as the bad. Because he had also spoken about encouraging people to do good things in secret. He said when you give to people, when you help people, when you pray for people, just get on and do it quietly. Don't make a big fuss about it. Because your heavenly father sees it and he applauds it and the angels in heaven celebrate it. But you don't need to make a big show of it when you do it. So I think he was meaning a time when one day all the difficult things about our lives, all the struggles, all the things that we cover up with our coats, one day all that will be brought into the open. And one day all the good things, all the kind things, the compassionate things, the caring things, the helpful things that we've done, which maybe nobody knows about or very few people know about, one day they will be brought out into the open too. That was Dave's podcast. Thanks very much for listening. (laughs) 